celebrities flooded SoFi Stadium for night one of Beyonce's Renaissance Tour in Los Angeles, California. Most of them appeared crazy in love for the powerhouse singer, except for one celeb, Prince Harry. But while Meghan Markle was seen dancing throughout the night, one moment caught Prince Harry standing stagnant next to his wife. The Duke of Sussex's apparent stiff stance for some of the two-and-a-half-hour set list resulted in an internet frenzy, with fans joking about how miserable he looked. Many people took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to point out how Harry looked like every other husband who was forced to go to a concert with their significant other. Lol Prince Harry seems relatable here. He looks just like any other boyfriend-slash-husband who was made to go to a Beyoncé concert, one user wrote. Another added, while take issue with Prince Harry comments about press coverage of armed forces in war zones, surely this pic of him and Meghan at Beyoncé is just every bloke dragged along to a concert by the missus? They then had a spectacular kissing scene, but according to five witnesses at the concert, Harry was forced to kiss Meghan under Meg's glare. She tried to act happy but deep down Harry felt truly miserable. Only when they went out with people other than their spouses do we see radiant smiles and joyful demeanors, genuine happiness. It went away from each other or playing to the cameras. I have wondered why Harry largely makes a point to look miserable when with Meghan. It only seems that when there's a photo op to make him look good does he turn that frown upside down, such as the phone call they made to the teens. Harry seems to be very look at me. I'm doing charity work. The way they both appear to be having the time of their lives when they're apart speaks volumes of how they are strategizing for an upcoming divorce. But who's the bigger victim here? Who's more stressed? Who has the greater mental health crisis? Who's taking more drugs to cope? Whose physical health has suffered more? Will they blame it on each other, perhaps? Harry never looks happy around her. Even at the wedding, they were both awkward, and he didn't really smile just nervously smiled. He married someone that he barely knew, and she turned out to be a disordered mess. A user on Reddit analyzed if or when the divorce happens, I can see the most vile of accusations being held at one another. If Harry declines booking and Palace's assistance, legal PR, etc., I fear he will not only come off horribly in the public eye, the British royal family will as well, and Harry will be financially savaged. Everything that Meghan has said today will be nothing compared to the things she'll spew if there's any pushback on the demands. And knowing how utterly fragile Harry's ego is, there's certain to be pushback, as he'll see any capitulation as losing rather than settling to be done with it all. All in all, like any divorce, it'll be the ultimate blame game, just with extra high stakes. In other news, Meghan Markle has seemingly been accused of using people as per her motives. The Duchess of Sussex is titled a predator for mingling with Hollywood bigwigs to support her popularity. Former royal butler Paul Burl tells GB News, people are beginning to feel they are being used by Meghan. Meghan is a predator. She will use people and drop them when she's finished with them. She sucks them dry, and then, they'll be gone. Speaking about Meghan's feud with David Beckham and Victoria Beckham over recent estrangement, Mr. Burl adds, the Beckhams don't need Harry and Meghan. They're A-list celebrities in their field. Isn't it sad? The Beckhams were there at the wedding, as were the Obamas and the Clonies. He continues, however, where are they now? They're beginning to see who Harry and Meghan are. They don't want to be in the same sphere as them, 